Hello, this video is Bashar Quote. I'm going to try to, um, from now on, try to, uh, uh, interpret Bashar Quotes. Because <laughs> I'm totally into Bashar. Because every time I listen to the Bashar, I feel like I'm talking directly to an alien, and I love that. So, um, now one the Bashar Quote is, uh, um, we want to we want to live we don't want to live in a democracy we want to live in a republic um, because if we live in a democracy because we're all primitive people we will all c collectively decide that we uh, that we um, that we're not going to that we're going to disenfranchise certain people um, because the collective consciousness of a, of a not very advanced civilization of people will, um, by default, uh, decide to not um, respect, um, say, gay people. You know, like uh, you know, like uh, like you know, in the in the 60s, how we wouldn't let black people drink out of uh, white people water fountains or sit in the front of the bus. Uh, some people might say that, that was a uh, you know that that's not the collective decision of the people, but in fact it was because, uh, you know, every time, you know, bus driver is just a normal person, yet the bus driver enforces the law of not letting the black person sit in the front of the bus. Uh, the person who works at the uh, barber shop um, is actually, an, if, if he enforces and doesn't let the black person drink out of the water fountain, then he, um, then you know, he may tell you that, oh, I don't believe it, but, you know, that's the way it is, so that's the way it is. Well, that's the, that's a stupid excuse. He does believe it if he's going to support it. Um, you know, um, you say, oh, well, you know, they'll get killed. That, that white uh, barber will get killed by his friends if he allows a black person to drink out of the white person water fountain. Well, then his friends are upholding that idea. And so you know you you can't you can't hide behind peer pressure, um, you know maybe on your conscious level you you you're you're afraid of your peers, but on a subconscious level, um, at the end of the day you have to take responsibility for your own actions. And so, basically, um, if we're living in a primitive society, we don't want we don't want a democracy because a democracy will just will just all collectively decide to. Um, um, oppress people and make the wrong decisions. Um, so what we want is a republic, which is um, a democracy, which is something that, uh, in, in, in the way that you you all, you know, vote to decide on the laws and vote to decide on uh, the leaders. But along with that, you also have to have a very clear constitution that is a mission statement that um, makes people crystallize their highest desires um, so that you know you don't have to worry about peer pressure you can anonymously vote on making a resolution to allow black people to drink out of the white person water fountain and you know if you were to allow um, people you know if you were to allow uh, people to anonymously vote to say yes you can do that or or to you know to or have at least the smart leaders of society um, write write those laws and in, into uh, into being then and then instead of um, instead of letting this you know the less intelligent people of society uh, the more ignorant people of society um, who are the masses take over and um, and oppress uh, the minorities, you would have the smarter people write down a constitution of good laws um, to uh, to respect them, and then and then so then the people can go and uh, follow along with that and uh, and um, and respect the uh, minorities. So it's kind of like having a mission statement to help uphold your uh, your highest ideals. Now, some people might say, "Oh, but if, but what if you have people writing into laws that are wrong?" Well, you know, oppressive laws like make it a law that that you can't um, that you can't uh, 
allow black people to drink out of the white person water fountain, water fountain. well um that um well that's how it was um so but that that wasn't the that wasn't the uh, that it wasn't the uh, representation of our highest, our highest um, desires. So I guess with the Republic, it would be the format, the writing into laws, uh, the highest uh, mind state of uh, the best leaders of the country. <laughs> Anyways. That's my uh, best interpretation of um, translating what Bashar was trying to say when he said we want a republic and not a democracy. So, what did I miss? Throw me a bone here. Help me out. <laughs>